back here in the gazebo just talking and uh, shared with him his idea about uh, writing a whole album centered around biscuits. So, and uh, and he just immediately got in on the action and said, oh, that was a great idea, blah, 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 blah. And then I didn't think anything of it. And then, like, the next day, I just went about my business. And he called a song written. Yeah, he already had one written. He, he called me and said, hey, uh, you want to come over later on and uh, work on this album, this biscuit album? I'm like, well, yeah, of course. I've been waiting for somebody to say that my entire life, pretty much. <laughs> so uh, we, we went over that Sunday night. He already had Mary Mary pen. And we worked out most of the bugs that night. Yeah, that was really yeah, pretty much complete song. Pretty much complete for that day. Uh, Big Tater, it just started off as this idea that I just, I just basically wanted to write just a classic sounding country song. And uh, I'm not sure what the lyrics quite mean. It's open to interpretation. Um, but just, just I've all, I've always been a fan of uh, Hank Williams, Hank Williams, Merle Haggard, uh, Buck Owens, those kind of guys. And I just wanted to write a song like that but in, in the biscuit realm, so I had to add my own uh, irreverence to it. Each song kind of, just the title in itself, or what it, what kind of feeling it evokes, kind of lends itself to a certain style. And we thought hard about each one, like we'd actually we'd look at the ingredients, we would, we would like, and then we would think about, you know, what is this song all about? And we would just try to think of the most epic representation of what that actual song meant.